to another depressing one. Uh, Patty Pimblet versus Tony Ferguson. See, this wasn't that depressing for me because I accepted the result <laughs> two weeks ago, and you yeah. all should have done the same thing. I accepted the results when they announced the fight. Dude. Uh, <laughs> you know, we were talking about Wonder Boy looking pretty good at forty. Uh, Tony Ferguson at thirty-nine. It's not the same. It is not the same, um, and it sucks, man. Because Tony, I think, I mean, we've we've talked about uh, we've talked about on this show in the past. Uh, Keith says the whole country subs him first off, <laughs> uh, but you know, Tony, one of on the very long list of fighters that have been done dirty by the UFC, Tony is maybe top three. You know, yeah. top five for sure. Uh, they him, him and Gilbert, real bad. him and Gilbert, him and uh, Jacques Array as well. Um, yeah. There's some guys that the UFC has done really dirty, and Tony is very close to the top of that list, if not the top. Um, but uh, Gansko says at least Tony kept his consciousness. Um, yeah, that's a moral victory. Uh, Tony, you know, he landed some shots in that first round. Um, but there's this thing that he's been doing since the Gaethje fight where he gets hit and he kind of turns and he leans his head away and he shuffles yeah. away as he's still getting hit. And it's just such a bad look. And yeah, um, you know, like I said, he was catching um, Patty a couple times, uh, but not a ton of damage on. It. I think he broke his nose, uh, but that's you know not the hardest thing to do in a fight. Um, yeah. And Patty, the return shots were just like deafening. Like he's cracking Tony, and Tony's wearing it well. He's not going out or anything, but you know yeah. he he does end up getting dropped uh, up against the fence. Um, you know, he goes down and granted, you know, on the ground, he was eating some big shots too and never looked out of it. And he was still throwing his legs up. He got to mission control at a certain point. Um, he's he's trying things off his back, landing. He did land his elbows off his back, but it's still just not, not enough, you know. And then, Similar to the Roy Vall thing. You gotta, you gotta yeah. have a sense of urgency to get up. Like, I understand you have like competency there and like you, you know what you can do down there, but that's, yeah. It's not where you want to be in this fight in particular. So, like, you got to have yeah. an urgency to to change what's happening and get up. And if even if you're not getting up, like, you got to change urgency to like create a scramble. Like, even change the position. Like, just being in yeah. that position is not a good look. Yeah, and I get it. You want to work off your guard. That's when you have the most tools off your back. But people will shit on Patty for you know understandable reasons, right? He should have lost that fight against um, Jared Gordon, right? But yeah. At the end of the day, Patty's skill set is his jiu-jitsu. That's what yeah. he's good at. So people might forget or maybe just not know because he really hasn't showcased it much in the UFC yet. You know, he's been more of like a brawler in the UFC. Yeah. Um, not by <laughs> probably not by what he wants. He just leaves that chin up, so it turns into back and forth fights. But he's a jiu-jitsu guy. So it's gonna be tough to submit him off your back in guard. Um second round, uh path of the least resistance, Patty takes him down. Uh, and I think he had like, I mean, how much ground control did he have in that second round? It was, it had to be the majority of it, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Four minutes and 20 seconds. Hello. Uh, 420, uh, ground control for Patty in round two. Round three, Patty's completely gassed. Yeah. Uh, completely gassed. And Tony's utterly and completely at a certain point. He's, uh, you know, he's his back is against the fence. He's sniffling because the blood keeps dripping out of his nose. And he's just like, I'm exhausted. But Tony just doesn't have it anymore to hit him with these angles and these vicious shots like he used to. Um, and eventually ends up on his back again. And Patty can kind of coast a little bit on top to end the fight and win a 30-27. You know? Yep. And definitely wasn't through that stand-up of his because, my God, five of those six pictures that uh, shit, just got put up, his hand is, like, at his waist. Like, yeah. bro, put if you're not going to put your chin down, put your hands up. Yeah, you got to do – you got to pick one. Hand at his waist. <laughs> yeah. Hand, hand at his waist. waist. <laughs> Rich is killing it with these pictures, dude. <laughs> uh but yeah you know patty did what everybody thought he was gonna do um uh, he didn't get the finish i thought you know tony brought in david goggins there's a lot of talk about all that and you know who did not look like he knew what was going on which he is looked like completely he was like, understandable yeah 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 he was like all right i'm gonna say something go get him kid you yeah. got it remember what this. we did yeah yeah 
but you know, and I love not, David Goggins, but come on, man, no, he didn't need advice. to be there. Yeah, he's just Pantoja needs Goggins, but I guess think yeah. Um, Tony made a yeah. call to Diego Sanchez over the weekend. And was like, is this a good idea? And Diego was like, yeah, do it, do it, yeah. do it. I that's a good call out though because I am worried that we're gonna see a Diego Sanchez type storyline here coming up for Tony because this is now seven in a row he's lost. I don't know if the UFC should even give him any more fights. Uh, I'm sure he'll take more fights, but he yeah. needs to retire. And yeah. uh, I retired Tony Ferguson is a little bit of a scary thought. I'm not going to lie. Uh, he's taken a lot of damage. He's already had mental health issues. Uh, you know, there was that whole saga where he tore apart his house thinking that there was microphones in it. He tore open his leg because he thought there was a microphone in it. He woke up his wife sitting over yeah. her, throwing holy water on her in the middle of the night. There was all the stuff where he was getting his divorce. Yeah. You know, they're driving him to the hospital and they're in traffic on the highway and he gets out of the car and just runs away. You know, it's it's going to get dark and it's going to be scary and it sucks because, you know, at, at a certain point, Tony's one of the greats, you know? Yep. Uh, so it's fun, but it's, it's a hard sport. And, and we all know that the sport. UFC is not going to take care of him in terms of like medical or mental. Like they're going to let him... He's an independent contractor. He's not our business. Hey, everybody. Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description, and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, and don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.